and we're going to talk about how IoT can enable more convenience and more choices in how you live your lifestyle in your home or your office. Take it away, Mark. I think IoT has an amazing opportunity to, to help people with more choice in how the buildings are flexible to their needs. So we have an example right here, something as simple as a switch that no longer requires a, a, a wall box or wire, allows people to actually move switches to locations where they need them. Uh, so if I have a little guy, he's just new to my family, maybe in a couple of years I'm going to want to move those wall switches down on the wall so they're more accessible for that little guy. So here we have our wireless switch. Um, it's a standard feature in all of our homes and there's no wire in the wall. So with it, it's basically a send receive signal um, that's transmitting to a module in the light box. Okay? With, with doing this, um, we, we save both energy and time um, and allow your house to be smart. Uh, we can also then expand that to include mobile device access where we can actually change what a switch on the wall operates in the house so that we can not only just do it from our mobile devices, we can actually change what the switches on the walls do. Or for that matter, for those that like that, we can offer voice control so we can include Alexa or Google Home to actually now turn the lights in the house on or off using our voice. This is almost approaching the Jetson era, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting really close. I think, uh, I think with the key points of being able to make this the more affordable alternative compared to wired switches, and then adding the technology results that people want, which is saving energy, making my life more convenient and safe and secure, is really setting us up for the next era. So it sounds like this would make it very easy to put into condos, to put into apartments, in addition to single family homes. Yeah, the key piece was to not make this something extra, but to replace something that had been done, where we're in front of every electrical load in the, in the house, and that means the air conditioner, the furnace, the plugs, the lights, the pumps, the heaters. So it's not just lights, it's everything in the home that's electrical. We now have the ability to alter it, how we control it or how we live with it as we, as we grow in the home. Uh, of course, what that required was in our particular case, because we separated the light switch into its two operating components, so we could eliminate the cost and the labor to install the wire between the light fixture or the heater or the pump and the switch. Uh, that required that the regulatory agencies, uh, the National Electric Code in both Canada and the United States, change their written codes to accommodate those the technologies. And they did that? Yeah, the NEC in the United States actually adopted for the 2020 code that a wall switch is no longer required. What is required is a wall-mounted control device, which is what Levin offers.